Hi YouTube, H Adams here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing it, some DIY black anklets or ankle bracelets. Yeah, so what I'm gonna be using is some Velcro ribbon and these other materials I, f I found in um, McAvoy's. So I got some black um, like ribbon with um, some dangly crystals. Yeah, I, I love that touch on it. Um, yes, and then some other um, beaded things that I got from Guinness. Yeah. And yeah. So without further ado, I'm going to get started and bear right back with you. Right guys, so on the first anklet that I'm going to make, I'm going to use this long ribbon with the crystals on it. Yes. So I'm going to be using a bit of Velcro for the ends, needle and thread and scissors and a glue gun. So don't mind all the glue on the box. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it as much as I need. And yeah, I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, so now that I have the amount I need cut out, I'm going to sew um, down the ends to stop the crystals from unraveling and um, falling off. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. and be right back with you. Okay, guys, and now I'm going to cut out and glue on a little piece of Velcro on each end. And I have these sewn down, yeah. Okay guys, and that's my first one done, yeah. Yeah. Okay guys, and on the next one, I'm gonna be using some ribbon and this other beaded material I got from Guinness and some more, uh, another piece of Velcro and some needle and thread and scissors and the glue gun. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut out how much ribbon and, and this beading I'm going to need and be right back with you. Okay guys, now that I have both the ribbon and the, the ribbon and the material cut out, I'm going to sew this onto this, going through those um, gaps with the, with the strings. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and be right back with you. Right guys, so I have um, this sewn onto this and I have to just give you a tip. Um, if you have any material like this here, like this beading here, it would it wouldn't um I tried holding it down and so on, on and it wouldn't stay. It kept um twisting on me. Like like sort of like that. Yeah, like it was yeah, it was really hard to handle. So I just got I just glued glued it down with the glue gun to keep it straight. Yeah, so just a tip for you in case you get have any material like this that you want to sew on to ribbon or anything, just Try and glue it down, it'll make it easier, or use straight pins if you find that easier as well. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and glue on some Velcro on, on each end, and be right back with you. Right, guys, and that's my second one done. Yeah. Yeah. Right, guys, so my third and final anklet, I'm going to be using some more ribbon and a bit more um, Velcro, I'll have to trim some of it. And then I'm going to be using this beading material, um, yes, um, which doesn't look as complicated because the previous one had um, had had, um, had more beading on it, whereas this one here has more gaps. Yeah, so it might be a little easier. Yeah, I might have to glue it down again. <laughs> But we'll see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out as much as, as I need in both of these and be right back with you. Right guys, so I've cut out as much of the ribbon and the beading I'm going to need and some and even cut out two pieces of Velcro. So I'm going to go ahead and sew and glue these all together and be right back with you. Right guys, so I have all three of them done. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and try them on for you and be right back with you. Right guys, so here's how the first one looks. Yeah. I love how sparkly the gems are on it. Yeah. Guys, and then there's the second one. Yeah, I like how it stays still. Mm. Guys, and then there's the last one. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and stay tuned to more videos in the way. Talk to you soon. Bye.